legend sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden Many people have asked me, why do you sit on the floor while you write and work? And how can your back stand it sitting on the floor like that? So today I want to share about why I've invited this practice into my life and how it has helped me physically and spiritually. When I was a little kid, I sat on the floor all the time. In fact, I preferred it. The floor was where I played, rested, sat, and sprawled. As children, we naturally sit in many different positions and we move around constantly. In many cultures, it seems that it's only as we grow up that we begin to stagnate. Many of us, whether we work for ourselves or go to work each day or whether we attend a school or spend a lot of time sitting in a chair, we tend to stay in one position for the duration of the day. We don't move around, we stay in one place, slowly devolving from the once natural yogis we once were. I've been sitting on the floor for so long now that it's actually a bit hard for me to think back and pinpoint one thing that brought this practice about for me, but this realization was a huge part of it. We are born loving natural movement, and I wanted to return to those roots. At the same time, I was developing and growing more and more in my journey with minimalism and sustainable living. I was learning just how little I needed to be contented, and how much I enjoyed having space to move freely instead of cluttered rooms full of things I didn't need or really care that much about. Training in Shotokan Karate also brought me on a journey of being exposed to some of the benefits of Japanese culture. I really love the open, airy, minimal feeling in many of the Japanese home and dojo layouts, and so I started inviting this vibe into my life, swapping the conventional desk for a low Chabudai-inspired table and a versatile cushion and foam wedge instead of a chair. Spiritually, I loved the feeling of this. It just felt so much better to me, more grounded, more playful, both qualities that I wanted to embrace more. And from a physical health standpoint, it's transformed my posture and my flexibility. I'm never just sitting stagnant anymore. I'm changing postures, I'm stretching intermittently, and using the foam wedge to actually lengthen my spine instead of hunching forward, which is what we often tend to do in conventional chairs. I mean, just think about this. Everything we do in yoga to encourage strength and good posture happens on the floor, right? So why not extend this practice into our everyday workflow, which takes up much more of our day than our yoga practice? This is where we spend the bulk of our day. Why not turn it into a sanctuary, a space that encourages lots of healthy, natural movement? The amazing creators at Thoughtworthy Co. hit on all of these great points and more in their video about why they began sitting on the floor to work, a video that also encouraged and enlightened me on this journey. I'll link their videos below. It was really interesting to hear about how they actually used this method of floor sitting to heal and recover from an injury. I highly recommend giving their videos a watch and subscribe to their channel if you haven't already. When I first started sitting on the floor, I remember thinking, oh man, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. My back was stiff by the end of the first day and it just felt generally strange because I was so used to sitting in a chair at a table, but I decided to keep going and see how my body adapted and adapt it did. Within a month, I was completely comfortable sitting on the floor all day or for large portions of it. I actually strengthened my back muscles by sitting on the floor and using the foam wedge to encourage spinal lengthening. I began to feel more and more flexibility in my body. These days, I sit on the floor while I write, while I work on emails and other tasks related to my author career, and while I create and package orders for my Etsy shop. What I love about this space is that it's so versatile. It can literally be transformed into anything and brought anywhere, even outside. This has been wonderful for when we are living nomadically because I can just literally pack up my entire writing space and transport it with me anywhere, including our small 15 foot camper that we have lived out of for extended periods of time. 
It's really comforting to be able to take your writing space with you and set it up anywhere. And that's been one of my favorite things about this space. All in all, sitting on the floor has helped me to have better posture, become more flexible, more playful, and have more fun with natural movement. The free space it provides where I would otherwise have had a conventional desk is liberating and inspiring. And it also proves an important point. We don't need a lot, we really don't. And sometimes pushing ourselves outside of our comfort zones to try something new can have a very rewarding and lasting impact on our lives. So I hope this video inspired you to try something new in your own unique journey, sweet soul, whether that's creating a comfortable floor workspace or something else entirely. If you enjoyed this video, it always means the world when you give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for being here. I wish you joy in your journey.